Okay, let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the Dark Place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when it, when night falls. But last time, it... this will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I can send him back to the dark place, make all the shit go away. I... Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is it's full of holes, and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It, it's like it's like it's like a half forgotten dream. Mr. Wake, Alan, we've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I, why are we written into the story? I think I saw you, or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. It's insane. 
And there's so much of it. Have you ever heard of the Cult of the Tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter, the next chapter, the next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Wake has a double, Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face, the dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Okay, Mr. Wake. I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew a weapon. Standing inside the trailer at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. Her mind reeled from what the horror story was now claiming about her, her life, her past. She didn't accept it. She stepped out of the trailer. She needed air, but she wasn't alone. A cultist stared at her from behind a deer mask. She drew a weapon, shouted, ran after him. Wake just gave us a lot of information. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult.
The cold of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. Hmm. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all of this. It's all on the page. The clicker, the cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. Hi, welcome. Okay, past favorite Deer Fest floats. Go. The yarn puppet monstrosity. The stuffed moose and squirrels one. Hello, Yay. and welcome to Coffee World, located oh, Washington's so best coffee themed amusement park. I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea, going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy... The evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, real funny. The page placed me in a trailer somewhere in Watery. I should ask around. Hello. Do you have a second? Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Uh, Tor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. Ilmo Koskel owns it. He owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You have seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. Over here! Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? 
another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it, hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their memories? So what is Coffee World? <laughs> you mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose. Until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. So... your commercials? They're more than commercials, Saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And, uh, Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Really. Fuck off. I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and, uh, check them all out. I should make sure I've gotten everything out of profiling. Trailer Park is a good place to look for a trailer. Keep it simple, Saga. Wakes says a story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. Makes sense. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake, and the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops, brother. Yako, the shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Light's laughter and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. 
This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. Hello, and welcome to Coffee World, voted Washington's best coffee-themed amusement park. All of our attractions are family-friendly and available to children of all ages, just like our coffee. So, take a sip of our Oh Dear Diner organic coffee and let the adventure begin! Hold on for dear life on the Espresso Express! Soak in some local history at the Huatari Well, where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. Uh, it's not a haunted. No. <laughs> Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park petting zoo. Just don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously. It's not amusing. Take in amazing views from the slow roaster Ferris wheel. I can almost see the watery lighthouse trailer park. This is so much fun. And finish off at our beautiful gift shop where seniors and children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks. Welcome to Coffee World. We guarantee you'll jaw a great time. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'd get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Call the gift shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep. Nothing? What am I paying them for? Guess they're busy. Oi, Vito, Vito. Well, after they finally pick up, we really need to get over to Bright Falls for that, uh, thing. Yep. Must be busy at the park. These are all peak hours, Yako. They're just slacking. There's Coffee World. Need to get across the river. Uh, 
more people turning into Taken. Is this the cult? Or the story? Or both? Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. What the Koskalis had said about her living in watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing, but involving her daughter was crossing a line. Something darted across the path ahead. Too fast to see. Saga drew a weapon. Her eyes searched the woods, a noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look, a local, a man on the ridge above her. No, not a man, a monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust. locked box.
There's another lunchbox. Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. What the Koskalis had said about her living in watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing, but involving her daughter was crossing the line. Something darted across the path ahead. Too fast to see. That's not right. No. Hello? Anyone here? Nope. Did they get out? Did the Taken get them? Or were they turned into Taken? I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Ilmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. Need something to... 
that you may it open with. A list of maintenance work. A screwdriver. Huh. When you ask, Marisetta will speak.
This should get that gift shop open. Is that safe? Locked. Okay. What would Ilmo use for a code? Coffee World staff. Hope they're not all monsters now. The photos have stickers on them.
The keys to my trailer. Now to find the clicker and the cult. There's another cold stash. 